This is a stimulus check update for April 11th. We're going to talk about the online IRS portal for direct deposits, but we're also going to talk about when you should expect to receive your stimulus check, whether it be direct deposit or paper in the mail. Let's look at that. But before we do, if you're interested in how to maximize how much you get and how much you're actually going to get, be sure to check out my other video where I went over all of that information. First, when are you going to get your stimulus check? Well, if you have some foreign direct deposit set up, you may actually have already gotten it. Believe it or not, they started sending out the direct deposit checks April 9th, a few days ago. If you haven't yet gotten it, but you have direct deposit set up, just stay tuned. I'm sure it'll show up in the next week or so. That's my hope anyway, I haven't gotten it yet. But if you don't have any direct deposit information set up, you'll have to wait till you can get it delivered to you through the mail with a paper check. And that won't start until April 24th, almost three weeks later. However, it only starts at $10,000 at that point. The way they have it set up is they're staggering when they're sending out these paper checks. Meaning if you earn less than $10,000, you'll get it sent out on April 24th. But if you earn more than that, you'll have to wait a week, two weeks, maybe even up until September. So if you earned a fair bit more than $10,000 in 2018 or 2019, then be sure to file your taxes or use this online IRS portal for direct deposits. If you're not sure if the IRS has your direct deposit information, if you filed in 2018 or 2019 and you use direct deposit, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. But if they don't have it and you want them to use it, either file for 2019 now, or you can use this online IRS portal for direct deposits. All you really have to do is go to this website, make sure you have information like your name, your birthday, your social security number, and all of the dependents you have and their social security numbers, and you'll just create a new account. When you create this account, it'll ask you for your bank account and for your routing number. Putting those in will enable the IRS to send the money directly to your account. It is by far the easiest way and the fastest way to get your stimulus check. If you don't wanna wait all the way until perhaps even September to get your check, make sure the IRS has this information. Anyway, that was the update for this video. I hope it's been beneficial to you and I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below or any comments as well. Leave a like, subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.